Okay. They let's learn about the components. Okay, components of a force. Okay, components of a force. Forces are vectors, and therefore we can uh, get components out of them. So let's have here an arbitrary axis. Okay, and this is a force. So this is my force. This is the U axis. Let's call it the U axis, and this one is the V axis. Okay, positive U and this is the positive V axis. And the angles that the force makes with this, this axis are A and then we have here angle B. Okay, in order to solve for the components of this force, components in U and in B, uh, we, we complete a parallelogram using, using this figure. So we have uh, F. We make a line perpen uh, parallel to V towards you. So it's, it's something like this. So, okay, this line is parallel to V and another line. So, okay, it's, it's important which we start on the arrowhead of the force and then parallel to you. So this side is parallel to the U axis and this side is parallel to the V axis. And therefore, we have this parallelogram. Okay. The, the orange line parallel to U, that represents our uh, U component of the force, F sub U. And this one, the orange line parallel to V, it represents the F sub V or the V component of our force. Now, since this is a parallelogram, uh, F U here and this length here should be the same. Because that's what parallelograms are. They have the same si opposite sides of the same length. So this must be F sub U also. Okay. Now, taking this triangle. So let me redraw that part. Okay. Taking this triangle, we have here uh, F. This is F sub V. And this one is F sub U. Okay, uh, the angle here is A. We can see that uh, it's, it's the same triangle and we can see because it's a parallelogram. If, if the angle here, if the angle here is B, then this must also be B. So here, this triangle, this is B. And now let's say this is angle C and of course, because it's a triangle, C is equal to 180 degrees minus the sum of A and B. Okay, so we have here a triangle, and now we can we can solve the components using the sine the sine law. So, uh, using the law of sines, okay, we have we have this uh, relationship. We have f over the sine of c must be equal to F sub U over the sine of B. And this must also be equal to F sub V over the sine of A. Or if we rearrange this algebraically, F sub U is F sine B over sine C. And F sub V is F sine A over sine c and this is the basic theory of the components of a force when we have arbitrary axis like this